Definitely why I always have a bad back. What's that? Definitely why I always have a bad back. Why don't you get me to stand up there? Everyone keeps saying that. I just don't think it's like, I don't know, just a different, different approach. Standing up and drawing, maybe I've never done it, so just foreign to me or something. Yeah, 2013, it's like first year out of uni. I like Passport stuff back then and just sent Trent an email. And I was like, oh, hey, do you want to be in this uh, show I'm organizing in Newcastle? And he was like, oh yeah, keen. And then something like, oh, by the way, would you be interested in just doing some graphics for me? Being asked by like an Australian skateboard company that I respected and thought were doing really cool stuff, I was I was pretty stoked at the time. Yeah, it was only like first year out of uni. Yeah, pretty much went straight into like trying to be a freelance designer, illustrator, straight into the apparel world. Yeah. Zoo York might have been number one. <laughs> and then it's, <laughs> instead of getting paid, I got to pick some product. And then who were like the first artists that you saw that you were like, I wanna do that kind of thing? Just down the realm of more like comic -y sort of stuff, Dan Clowes and like Petty Bond's generally that sort of main dude that people who like just using one colour, it's like black ink, yeah. which really, really resonated with me. I just like that looser look, I don't know. Have you turned down work or said I'm not doing that? Do you just get to do what they want? I mean, there was a moment with a, with a brand where, pretty funny, like I drew this picture and it just sort of exploded around like, also like the Tumblr realm and stuff, like you just see it the most random places, like so many people got a tattoo, like it was just a picture of a scorpion and a rose, like nothing crazy, some porn star tattooed on her ass or something. But yeah, a company I was working for at the time sent me an email and said like, oh, hey, like this is cool, we're just gonna do, <laughs> We're just gonna do our own version of it, if that's fine. And I was like, um, I work for you, one. And two, no, that is not fine, man. Like, you can just email me and say, you're gonna like reappropriate an artwork I've done because you saw it on Tumblr with like 100,000 likes or reposts or whatever it is. But they ended up like crumbling in Australia anyway, which was really cool. Who was it? <laughs> Who was it? That's the million dollar question. Well, maybe that, that's the bankruptcy question. That was the element. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was one of the chosen few that got to work at the grocery store in, in Olba. It was like every single unemployed person in Olba, which was like a couple of hundred people went for these like 20 jobs at the grocery shop. It was pretty funny. They were like, oh, tell us, we had like this massive group interview and they were like, oh, tell us something special about you. And I was like, uh, I really like David Bowie. <laughs> that was the man himself. What's he doing? Who's on the phone? Ed. Dan. Yeah, it's more of a rock at the moment. There's more beach rocks. Oh, your beach rocks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rocks with holes? Or divots that you find yeah, on the beach? Rocks with divots. They're called magic rocks. Oh, no, that's good. Sydney, I think, and he gave me that when I got off the train. And that was the first, 2008 was a real, wow. You know, and that was the very first really detailed drawing that I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Did you always know that he'd be a, a work in illustration? I thought he'd be a Batman stuntman. That was what I thought he'd grow up to be, but yes, always an illustrator. <clears throat>
Who smoked opium? Nobody. I just collects opium pipes. Where's he getting from? I don't know. And I'll catalogue on stuff that's available at an auction. What is opium? Opium? Yeah. It's a drug. Nice. A drug that old people used to use to keep their body bodily functions going. Well, how good's that? <laughs> I was hoping it'd be sunny and nice. We got up to the entrance. It was until yeah. I've got the series I drew of you. In there. I wish, I really do wish I had more of like a, a knack for like abstract stuff. My brain tells me to like continuously go symmetrical. If something's not symmetrical, it sort of, maybe it doesn't work in my head as I see it. But I'd really like to be able to work more like that, I guess. Dude, that's heaps. Do you want any more out? Nah, that's all right. That's all right, isn't it? Hey, sit down. Touch, but that's the best you're going to get out of me.